All right, guys, we are back again with our second part of my amazing interview with a good friend of mine, Miss Theo Kogan. Part one, we learned a lot, but part two, we're going to learn even more, believe it or not. And I'll be seeing you soon. recognized your beauty underneath really the drag that you were wearing. Mm -hmm. How did that happen? A lot of it, I have to say, was um, Ned Ambler. So you guys at home, Ned Ambler at the time was an amazing casting director who got a lot of praise and notoriety because he, um, one of the things he did was he booked the incredible black and white CK1 ads mm -hmm. that were really controversial and uh, they were everywhere. Yeah. And he used real people from the street, from New York clubs, and showed the beauty of amazing people like Theo. Yeah, and he got me into CKB, which was the second round, and that's when I shot with um, Richard Avedon. Wow. And he shot me and he did commercials, so it was him and Dune Arbus, who's Diane Arbus's daughter. Right. Um, and the two of them worked together and interviewed me to write the commercials. So I spent all this time with them and it was like, that was so amazing because he, I mean, he shot Marilyn Monroe. I mean, it's like, he, he did so many and Tina Turner and yeah. it's just like, it was like, and I had already worked with some other very big photographers that were much younger than him mm -hmm. and he was the coolest. And I feel like that's something sort of I learned the more I worked in the fashion industry is the people who are like established and not worried about and their career or, or insecure that were the ones that were like the best to work with. So some of the other campaigns you've done, you've done uh, Burberry, mm -hmm. you've worked with Burberry, mm -hmm. um, and you, you've had that incredible ad campaign with Kenneth Cole. Mm -hmm. Which is, you know, like now it's like seven years ago, but that yeah. was, you know, it was later. Your life has changed quite a lot, um, and now you have an amazing, uh, cosmetics line. Yes. Tell me about this. I started a makeup line, which yeah. is all lip gloss as of now, and it's called Armor Beauty. Armor Beauty. Uh -huh. And where can we find it? It's online. You can go to armorbeauty.com, and it's all over the interweb and in uh, select stores. Okay. Instagram, Twitter? <laughs> Instagram, Twitter, what's Facebook. Your what's your handle? Arm at Armor Beauty on everything. That is at Armor Beauty. For everything. And you will find us in Lord and Taylor at the special pop-up shop called Birdcage this season. I can't Their wait to first go. Ever. We have to go there together. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we have we have to wrap up soon, but I want to. You have a couple of your products here. Yes. And all of your lip glosses, especially, are named after songs, bands, um, classic pop icons. You know, women that inspire me. Yeah. So men right here that we inspire have inspire me. Divine. Yes, after the drag queen Divine. So this is the color Divine after John Waters uh, muse Divine herself. Mm -hmm. um, some of your other great colors. Oh, you also have um, a vegan line out Yes, now. so we just this year, I launched a vegan line called Armor V. And we started with one, uh, the first gloss was called Brigitte after Brigitte Bardot because she was such an animal activist and yes. so gorgeous and such an icon. So that's the first shade. And the two that are coming out October 1st. October 1st. Our Highway Star and Fun House. Highway Star named after... Ooh, this is Fun House. Band. Yeah, Fun House. And it's vegan also. And it's gorgeous. And this is Highway Star, which is for awesome. the band Deep Purple's song. Nice. Um, and also a this. very, you know, insane color. I love it. You're doing really well. You've come a long <laughs> way. So you guys, um, I want to thank Theo Kogan for hanging out with us today in Paprika on St. Mark Street for a wonderful new episode of Noah's Ark. And I can't wait to see you guys next time for a new episode. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.